Onto Sudan, where a 10-member opposition delegation submitted a list of demands during a meeting with the military yesterday afternoon. Well, the meeting was held shortly after Abdel Fattah al-Burhan Abdel Rahman took office as the country's third leader in less than a week. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates issued statements in support of Sudan's transitional military council. That's right. Although, the, although Burhan, the newly appointed interim leader, did lift the nighttime curfew with immediate effect and promised to up with the old regime, protesters are still in place in the streets of Khartoum. Well, they announced to continue until the military council demonstrably accepts the demands that include the creation of a civilian government. That's right. For now, what is being termed the new Arab Spring has claimed yet another Sudanese top-level scalp. Well, after the overthrow of the longtime leader Omar al-Bashir on Thursday, intelligence chief Salah Ghosh was yesterday the next to step down. Ghosh was held responsible responsible for the violent crackdown on protesters that left dozens killed and hundreds wounded. Hmm.